Hey Cancer, welcome to your reading for June 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading. Yes, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you'd like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. My email is in the description box below, as well as the list of the readings that I offer. I did decide to put it back in the description box. So if you would like a reading, you can email me. Um, but I would recommend that you read through that first and maybe pick out what you would like to move forward with just to expedite the process. Now, if you have trouble figuring out, go ahead and email me. We'll chat about the decision about the situation and I'll help you decide. Yeah. So for this month's reading, again, a little bit of the same, a little bit different. I'm going with the freestyle reading with the, with the Golden Universal Tarot. Now, if you're interested in potentially doing a reading with me and the freestyle reading piques your interest, pay attention because I'm doing the freestyle reading here, okay? Um, in a personal reading, the, I actually point the camera at the cards because that's where the focus is. But then during these, for these uh, general readings, I do like to do it this way so that I can have like a conversation with you guys. And if you're new to the channel, you can get to know me a little bit. Yeah. So we're going with a freestyle reading with the Oracle, I'm sorry, with the with the Golden Universal Tarot, and then I'll be pulling Oracle guidance, but this month I decided to get a brand new deck that I really, really love. I resonate with it so much. I think it's beautiful. I love the messages in it. It is the Sacred Rebels Oracle by Alana Fairchild. Super excited to see what comes out for all of us this month through this deck. Yeah? Excellent. Let's just get straight into it. Cancer. Oh, also, happy birthday to the June Cancers out there. Yeah, I see y'all. I see y'all. Mm -hmm. I mean, currently we're in Gemini season as the time of I'm recording this, but some of you are June Cancerians, so welcome. Mwah. Happy birthday. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Cancerians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of June, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Cancer, so, um, First of all, let me just say, just because these are messages that are coming out for the month of June, um, it doesn't mean, well, it just, it doesn't mean that it has to resonate for June, okay? Um, these messages are timeless. So whenever this resonates for you or whenever you're guided to watch it, it's most likely a message you needed to hear at that moment, okay? So let's talk pre-shuffle. Um, uh, I got a little bit of information in the pre-shuffle. It was the High Priestess with the Six of Swords. So for some of you or for those of you that most of you maybe this is either you or maybe it's the cross watcher um but someone is has learned a lot um has received quite a, new, a quite a, a large download of new information um they see things clearer than they have before um and uh with the high priestess and then the six of swords they're moving forward with this knowledge from rough waters to calmer waters, um, doing some sort of potentially healing during this process of moving forward. The kicker here though, Cancer, is that whoever is, is embodying this high priestess energy, they're not saying anything about it. They're most likely staying as silent as possible, which is probably being completely 100% silent about it. They may not want to talk about it any longer. They just may not want to share their knowledge about the situation for whatever reason. OK, but either way, there's some sort of healing that's going on here or some sort of movement that's happening for you, Cancer, um, that has to do with a deep sense of spiritual knowledge or a, a deeper understanding about something that may have been quite hidden or secretive or hidden from you or a secret from kept a secret from you for some time. Potentially. All right. OK. One more shuffle for you, Cancerians, and then we'll see what we've got. Yeah? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month of June 2019. Boop. All right. Overall energy, Cancer, you have 
The Nine of Swords. All right. So there's a good amount of anxiety here for you during the month of June. You might still be dealing with some sort of pain, hurt from the past, I'm hearing. This Nine of Swords energy, this, this fear, um, the, 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 the uh, self-fulfilling prophecies, um, anxiety, sleepless nights, whatnot, whatever, has a lot to do with what you're moving away from with the Six of Swords, okay? Um, and part of the reason why you might be keeping some sort of information to yourself could be because you're afraid of what could happen should you really speak up or speak the truth or speak about the intrinsic knowledge that you've received or the under intrinsic knowledge of the situation that you have acquired. Now, for some of you, this is also an energy of as you're moving forward, it's almost as if you're allowing your fear of what happened in the past to kind of cloud your vision. Um, so you want to be careful to not obsess over it too much so that you don't recreate the situation again. Because with the Nine of Swords here, you do have a self, potentially a self-fulfilling prophecy from your thoughts, okay? Ah, but you have justice here. Underneath justice, you have, woo, you have the tower. And finally, you've got the Ten of Pentacles underneath that. So, this is a completion. I'm hearing narcissism, okay? For some of you, you may have been dealing with a narcissist. You could have been married to this person and now you're getting a divorce. Um, uh, this could just be a family situation in which narcissism was at play. And whoever is moving away from the situation here um, has gotten, has, has acquired the knowledge that they can't fix the situation. They can't do anything about it. Though, so they just have to stay quiet and get their move on. Uh, you could be dealing with a Libran. You also could be dealing with a, a, a Scorpio. Yes. Um, for some of you, now this, it's really interesting because I feel like whoever is really in this Nine of Swords energy, this fear, maybe even a self-fulfilling prophecy, you're on the, it's almost as if you're the one that's on the positive end of this justice. This could be you, Cancerian. And what I'm getting from this Nine of Swords is that you're just afraid of recreating the situation again, which could potentially be holding you back. It really could be holding you back from, excuse me, it really could be holding you back from fully receiving the justice that's about to, that's trying to come in for you. It also could be holding you back from really completing out this cycle, uh, completing the lesson, you know, because the, the Ten of Pentacles to me can represent um, a lesson being learned or a, uh, yes, a cycle coming to completion because the Tens are a number of completion. Um, but in this physical realm, a lesson that you came here to learn is being wrapped up, is being completed. And the only thing that's keeping you from fully stepping through this completion and really moving forward is your fear and anxiety of the change that's happening. Okay, now there could be another person, that, or whoever else you're dealing with here could be feeling the pinch from this tower energy. And I do feel like for the most part, it's the Cancerian or the person that's on the beneficial side. The one, I feel like there's someone here that has actively closed the situation out by their own efforts. With that, that's the feeling that I'm getting from this tower energy, which is bringing justice into their lives, which would denote them completing a cycle and learning the lesson. Them, the, 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 the evidence that they have in fact learned this lesson is the fact that they are the one that's bringing this tower down by their own actions, intentionally. This is not a fluke. This is not, uh, whoops, I didn't even mean for that to happen. That's not what this feels like. That is not what this feels like. This feels like somebody straight up said, fuck you, I'm bringing this tower down. Now, they may, <laughs> they may not have been that angry about it, 
But the tower can be an aggressive energy, so they might have been aggressive. So also, whoever that is, yes, okay, so uh, yeah, it makes sense why you might be in this anxious energy. Um, this could be you being anxious because you're like, I don't know if I made the right decision here. Um, but of course you did because justice, the scales are being balanced. Um, it also could be fear of what's next. There might be a, a sense of a lack of stability for a short amount of time while you're in this tower energy of um, change. But don't focus on that too much because I keep hearing self-fulfilling prophecy. That keeps coming forward, Cancer. So I don't know what that means for you specifically, but you really want to keep whoever, both of you, or whoever is involved in this situation that I'm, that's resonating with the situation I'm channeling right now, all parties need to keep their wits about them and keep their fear and their minds, their egos in check. Yes? All right. So getting into the rest of your reading here, um, I do split this up into two sections. You can, in fact, look at this as your first and second half of the month. Personally, I recommend that you don't look at it that way because time is an illusion and energies are fluid, 11-11 on the counter. So I recommend that you just look at this as the first half of your reading and the second half of your reading and let the energies just flow and fit where they fit into your personal situation, okay? First set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, Cancer, you have, good, Temperance. You could be dealing with a Sagittarian. You could have Sagittarius in your chart. You also, in terms of dealing with or having in chart, you could be dealing with a Libra or a Scorpio, but you could also have these in your chart, Libra or Scorpio, okay? But what Temperance is saying here is there needs to be a, definitely a sense of patience here because there is a rebalancing, there's a realchemization -alch happening here for you, Cancerian, okay? This could be a rebalancing within yourself or this could be some sort of energy that's leading up to a reconciliation or a rectification of the circumstance, the situation for you. Okay, but there needs to be patience because there is, you're definitely in a period of rebalancing. And now for some of you, this could just be a situation in which this tower energy has already struck. It could have struck a while ago, like maybe a month or two ago, and now you're just kind of, you're now starting to see the justice. You're now starting to see things balancing out, potentially. Okay, temperance is coupled with, ah, yes, the Four of Swords. Good. So especially with the Six of Swords energy that was coming out in the pre-shuffle for you, Cancerian, um, you really need to just take some time to rest and heal and let the energies balance themselves out. I mean, especially for whoever it is that really took it upon themselves to create some sort of change with this tower moment here, you deserve a moment to rest and heal and allows the situation to just balance. What did I do with my hair? <laughs> Allow the situation to just balance out. I'm hearing there really isn't much more that you can do physically. At this point, you need to just allow the universe to take the wheel and drive the ship. I'm hearing from now on, but uh, for the time being, for the time being, okay? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Cancer. You've got, ah, uh, the Ten of Cups. Everything that is happening right now for you, even though it might be pretty serious, um, pretty tumultuous, it's all in service of the Ten of Cups for you. And that's where I feel like, that's the energy that I feel like you were coming from who, or, or whoever was coming from um, when the tower or destruction struck, uh, you were in or they were in a place of wanting emotional fulfillment, seeking ultimate emotional fulfillment, and probably realizing that what they had in front of them just was not cutting it, okay? Ten of Cups is coupled with the Emperor. So someone took action. is either taking action or, or took action and said, this is not my 10 of cups, nor does it have to be my 10 of cups. I am the master of my own domain here. I am in control. Therefore, I will do what I need to do to get my 10 of cups. That's what I'm getting here. You could be dealing with an Aries. You also could, be, you also could have Aries in your chart. But someone is very much in control, the master of their own domain and 
is looking to ensure that they set themselves up to receive the Ten of Cups energy. Their ultimate wish fulfillment. Like someone is literally driving their ship right into that Ten of Cups. Okay. Uh, I'm also getting specifically, this is really specific, but someone here could have an Aries that actually is this Ten of Cups for them. And the tower striking was, could have been the result of some sort of justice that was brought into play. And that could be why someone here, maybe it's the Cancerian, maybe it's someone that is connecting with or connected to the Cancerian, and potentially this Cancerian has Aries in their chart, maybe. But I am feeling picking up that there is an Aries here that actually is, I'm hearing the masculine counterpart. Or is that counterpart to this, to some, I don't know. I, now I feel like the, the, the message is getting all convoluted, but I think it got across to whoever needed it. But that's a really specific, that's a really specific. Okay, so if, that, if it doesn't fit, then forget I said it. Yeah? Your challenge in the first half of your reading, Cancer, you have, ah, the Seven of Wands. Defensiveness, guardedness, blockages, boundaries. Uh, for some of you, the challenge here is to maintain your boundaries. I just heard, do not let this person back in until they show some sort of change. That could be your challenge, that could be your advice, or that could be the energy that you are holding specifically. Like you're very consciously aware of the fact that you do not want to associate with this person, these people, this type of situation, this circumstance, whatever, until there's some sort of change that's exhibited. And it's not a situation in which they're just saying, oh yeah, look, I've changed, blah, blah, blah. No, no, there has to be some sort of physical evidence. Uh, words alone are not going to cut it here. Seven of Wands is coupled with Ah, the Queen of Pentacles. Ooh, 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 there you go. The Queen of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could be dealing with another Earth sign, potentially, uh, Virgo or Taurus. Officially, this is the archetype of the Capricorn. Uh, mm. I'm getting an energy of that Queen of Pentacles that has potentially probably turned their back on someone. Uh, guardedness, because... She, and I only say she because I'm speaking to the energy, not the gender. This could be a man or a woman. But this queen of pentacles, she turned her back on someone and she needed to. For some of you Cancerians, your challenge is to say enough is enough. Stop taking my kindness for weakness. Stop taking me for granted. Fine. You don't want to, you don't want to take, you want to take me for granted? You don't want to listen to my words? Okay. Now you have my back. And good luck getting me to turn around. That's how I see the Queen of Pentacles when she's fed up with something. And to be quite honest, that's a Cancerian too. When a Cancerian is done, they're done. And it might take a, it might take a lot to push them there. But listen, once they're done, I mean, good luck. And I'm not saying they won't be friendly towards you. But as far as getting back to where the situation was before all this mess happened, that is going to seriously be a challenge. But the biggest challenge I'm picking up for you, Cancer, or maybe even the cross watcher, I don't know, but someone needs to put some boundaries up and stop allowing themselves to be used. Maybe as an ATM or maybe as just a source of physical work or physical labor, or physical whatever, whatever. Someone needs to stop allowing themselves to be used. Or maybe you have put those boundaries in place and your challenge is to maintain it and to not allow someone back into your life until they have made some change, until they can show and prove that they have changed, okay? Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Cancer, you have the Eight of Wands. All right, communication. Yes, communication is key, but it's not everything, all right? Like I said before, Words alone are not going to cut it. But this is also swift movement in a clear, open space. Like, just boop, 
tr like open air arrow moving straight towards their target emperor ten of cups okay for some of you also though there could be some sort of communication now is this could be a situation in which once somebody puts up them those walls or those healthy or healthier boundaries then the other person might turn around and be like hey can we talk about this like what's going on oh sure we can talk about this doesn't mean i'm letting you back in at least not right away but we can talk about this the Queen of Pentacles hasn't lost all of her compassion here, no matter what she might be showing you. Sorry if I just blew up your spot. <laughs> Eight of Wands is coupled with, ah, yeah, communication, the Page of Swords. Now someone may be seeking an opportunity to communicate. But, but, also, what could be going on here is that there could be some sort of true and blunt, honest, to the point communication. So when I was saying, when someone was asking, can we talk about this? And the other was like, yeah, sure, we can talk about this. Doesn't mean you're not, it doesn't mean you're going to like what I have to say. But we'll talk. I'll tell you where I'm coming from. But check it. I'm not about to beat around the bush. So make sure you're ready for this conversation before you ask for it. <laughs> okay. Second half of your reading here, Cancer. First set of surrounding energies you have. Ah, the seven of cups, illusion, confusion, options. There, it looks like there are a lot of things to talk about here in this situation for you, Cancer. There's a lot of emotional baggage, a lot of things that need to come to light, a lot of things that need to be um, looked at, taken into account. It's not impossible. In no way is it impossible, Cancer, but it's a lot. It's a lot to handle. <laughs> Seven of Cups is coupled with, ooh, the Six of Wands. You could be dealing with a Leo, maybe another fire sign. Okay. It's not impossible, Cancer. Seven of Cups, Six of Wands, it's not impossible. This can happen. You can overcome. You can um, get over all of this, uh, jump this hurdle, climb this mountain. This can be overcome. Communication is key, but also what I'm picking up here, Cancer, is that you, either you or the other person, or maybe it's both of you, you really need to be willing to look into these cups. And I'm not just saying like glance into it and be like, Ugh, oh God, I can't look at that. No, like really look at it. Understand it, come to terms with it. And this could be something that you have to do internally. This doesn't have to all be uh, an external conversation. Maybe there are some things that you need to recti uh, rectify within yourself. Maybe there's a whole, bunch of whole, a whole bunch of emotional baggage that you need to go through and deal with, okay? <laughs> But ultimately, it can be achieved. Victory can be achieved here. However that looks for you. All right? Now, for some of you, it's already been achieved. For some of you, you've gone through all of these things. You've gone through all of the emotions. You've, you've rectified blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. And you've overcome. You've come out on top. And that could be why you tore this shit down and said no more. We're just not doing this anymore. Good on ya, I have to say. Heh. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Cancer. In the second half of your reading here, you have, ah, the King of Swords. You could be dealing with an Aquarius 
or maybe another air sign. I heard Gemini specifically. Oh, also that Gemini because yes, the Page of Swords is here, and I do see the Pages as the Knight and the Knights as the mutable mutable energies in the air signs. That would be Gemini. Or you could be dealing with a Libra. Also, yeah, Libra is here too with Justice. Um, but this feels very fair and very balanced. Probably emotionally detached. You might need to be somewhat emotionally detached to really heal or rectify this situation. Like, look at it from a logical point of view. Yes, of course, take your emotions into account to some extent. But I feel like there was a very strong emotional content from the beginning. And so I feel like Spirit's kind of saying at this point, maybe look past the emotional side of things and see it from a little more of a logical point of view. Like, maybe you need to balance the two out a little bit more in order to really heal this situation or to really get to the bottom of it. King of Swords is coupled with mm -hmm, the Two of Wands. Yes, in order to make some sort of decision, the emotion has to be taken out of a Cancer. And I know that can be difficult. I know that can be difficult. Um, but this decision that you need to make in terms of healing the situation, rectifying the situation, something like that, either is coming from or needs to come from some sort of logical place. So in like, say, say this is a, a family situation. Say you're married and things are not going well. They're not going to your liking. And I don't mean to say that, you know, you're just going to cut and run all willy nilly because uh, I just I just I just don't feel like it anymore. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about you've been spinning your wheels for a while and you have a deep sense of emotional investment in this situation, which has kept you spinning your wheels on a situation that actually probably just needs to be let go of to begin with. That's where the logic would come in. You don't have to be married. But I, I, I use that example as kind of an extreme, but at the same time, it's kind of like, yeah, but there's, that's what we're trying to get you to understand. That's, the, that's kind of the, the level of emotional detachment that it feels like is needed here in order for you to make the best decision for yourself, in order for really for this justice to be served, okay? The emotions, and so, okay, let me explain it another way. We'll keep with the with the with the um, the marriage analogy. You are in a marriage, and things have been really rocky for a long time. But they've been so rocky, and there's been trouble in he in healing the situation because there's too much emotion involved here, and ego and pride. Ah, there it is. Because when I was seeing the six of wands, I was like, mm, mm, this kind of feels like there's a little bit of ego and pride and maybe a bit of arrogance that's involved in this situation but in that sense that is your emotion those are your emotions getting in the way and not allowing you to see the situation as clearly as possible in order to make some sort of decision in how to move forward okay those are just two examples fit it into your situation as it would, okay? Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, you have the devil. Capricorn energy, so you really could be dealing with a Capricorn, especially since the Queen of Pentacles is right above the devil here in the first, in the, the challenge of the first half of the reading, and the Queen of Pentacles is the archetype of um, can, uh, a Capricorn, which is the opposite of cancer, I believe. Yes, it's the opposite of cancer. Now, there is some sort of toxic codependency, toxic energy, um, attachment that needs to be handled and dealt with here. And this feels very similar to what came out in the first half of the reading in the challenge section with the seven of wands and the queen of pentacles. Someone needs to put up greater boundaries. And then in the challenge of the second half of the reading, you got the devil. There's some sort of toxic attachment 
This could be narcissism. Maybe this, because I just heard narcissism. This could be an attachment to a narcissistic individual. This could be some sort of attachment to narcissistic tendencies or people that exhibit narcissistic tendencies, which could be a, a, an extension of what you experienced maybe as a child. But somebody needs to let go of something here. Someone is definitely harboring something that they need to let go of. And it, it's, so it's either you need to let go of some sort of toxic element to your relationship or somebody is holding on to something, is harboring some sort of nasty emotion here, with the Seven of Cups, and doesn't want to doesn't wanna let it go because of ego and pride, which is only injecting more toxicity into the situation. The devil is coupled with told you the eight of cups somebody's got to let go of something but also specifically this is walk away somebody needs to walk away from some sort of toxic situation and there again comes the detachment energy of making a decision release the emotion from the situation look at it from a logical point of view and I bet you you'll find your answer fairly quickly Now, this also, this already could have happened. Somebody could have already left this toxic situation behind. Okay? Again, take it as it resonates. Your closing message or potential outcome here for you, Cancer, you've got there. You remember when I was saying letting go? Someone needs to let go of something? Technically, that's more of a four of pentacles energy. Or what I was saying about somebody was harboring something, again, which would be another way of saying someone needs to let something go, that is a Four of Pentacles energy. Closing message or potential outcome, Four of Pentacles. Somebody. Somebody needs to let go of some sort of toxic codependency. This could either be you, Cancer, or this could be someone you're connecting with as in like a, a romantic partner or something like that, or this is someone connected to you that is toxic and holding on to you as somewhat of an energetic vampire of sorts. This also could be harboring old hurts or pains in a relationship. You have the Queen of Pentacles here, right? So yes, the challenge could be, that was in the first half of the reading here, the challenge could be defending yourself, putting up stronger boundaries. But now that I think about it also, especially with this Four of Pentacles, and this is why I say it's best to look at this reading that I do here more as the first half and the second half instead of the first half and second half of your month because I have a message that's coming through here at the very end of the reading that actually applies to something in the first half of the reading. Somebody probably needs to let their guard down, stop being so defensive, and maybe let go of some resentment. Because the Queen of Pentacles, man, when she gets resentful, it's like it could be an Olympic sport. But that's also part of the reason why once she turns her back, it's very hard for her to turn back around. Because yes, she's very logical. She's very grounded, very down to earth, but she's also very in tune with her emotions. And she doesn't like being taken advantage of. She's a very giving and caring individual. Now, keep in mind, guys, this is just energy. This is not gender. We could be talking about a man, a physical man that's embodying this Queen of Pentacles energy, that's embodying this resentment that somebody needs to let go of. Probably the Cancerian. Ooh, not gonna lie. Cancerians can get pretty resentful too. I love you guys, but you know what I mean? That could be it, potentially for somebody. Four of Pentacles is coupled with mm, the Seven of Pentacles. It's time to let go and really figure out how you got here whether it's together in some sort of rectifying or reconciliatory sense, or it's just you individually as you move forward. But it's time to let go. Stop harboring or harping on the past. Stop harboring pain or 
ill will from the past and really learn from the situation. Really take into account all sides or at least as many sides as you can. Okay? Because I feel like whatever you're holding on to here is keeping you from really learning about this current harvest because the Seven of Pentacles is very much an energy of you reap what you've sown, okay? So whatever you're harboring here is keeping you from learning that lesson, lesson and keeping you from moving forward. Even though someone is trying to move forward, possibly in secret with the High Priestess and the Six of Swords energy that came out in the pre-shuffle. Okie dokie. Okay. Yeah, that's a strong message. Someone's harboring something. There is, there's some sort of resentment here or there's some sort of ill will that's being harbored. Most likely on the Cancerian's part. But again, this is a general reading. But that's what I'm hearing. There is there's a strong sense of resentment and there's a lot of harboring. Someone needs to let go of some stuff. Okay. We're going to get into the Oracle section now. I'm going to give this three shuffles for you, Cancer. And then we will see what we've got for you. For my Cancerians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Here we go, Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus message for June. Here we go. Okay. Okay. We have card number 38. Restore and replenish. Now, 38 does boil down to an 11. Could be talking about some sort of divine union here, potentially. Okay. Here we go. Restore and replenish. You are in need of something so much deeper than rest. You need restoration, replenishment, and revival. This will not necessarily come from lying about somewhere, taking a moment out of your day or evening activities. You are more likely to gain what you need by breaking with your routine completely and doing something different. You need some variety, some spice, some change to bring fresh energy into your body, mind, and heart. You need to restore and revive yourself by changing the usual flow of energy throughout, through your being. You could stimulate this process by going to a different place, meeting different people, and taking different action to what you would usually do. You can return to your regular routine in time, if it feels good for you. However, it is now time to move without pushing yourself beyond what is known, comfortable, and familiar. This all oracle also comes as a message from the great loving guardian, which is life itself. You have been working so hard and have, and have accomplished so much already. However, you often sell your accomplishments short and focus on how much more is yet to be done. Life is telling you that it is time to put down the paintbrush the pen, the endless lists, and the thinking mind, and get into your body. Take the time to experience yourself in and of nature. Remember how to just be. In doing so, even for a relatively short amount of time, you will feel more of yourself and ready for the next phase. You might be surprised what just a day or two of this can do for you. Restoration does not have to be a long and involved process, especially if it is attended to when needed. This oracle, also, this oracle is also confirmation that you are an in an important transition phase between one level of experience and the next. If you feel as though you are treading water or are in a sort of, uh, I'm sorry, or are in a sort of purgatory somewhere between your, quote, old life and your, quote, new life, then this particularly applies to you. If you can't quite break into the level you are reaching for, have faith. You are just taking a breather between races. Soon you will have the power and energy you need to reach for the next level and succeed. 
If you have been considering a new endeavor or have recently started one, then this oracle brings a message of encouragement. Yes, this is a good step forward for you. You might be worried that you are taking on too much. You are encouraged to take time out to rest and rebalance yourself, but you are supported in your need for new and different experiences to refresh your spirit. You may let some of these new endeavors go once you have, you may, oh, sorry, let me say that again. You may let some of these new endeavors go once you have gained what you need from them. However, they are useful now. You are encouraged to trust yourself and to know that you are working consciously to meet your own needs and this is healthy and good. <clears throat> the Oracle of Restoration and Replenish also comes with guidance for, for your healing. If you have been under the weather, you will soon be well again. If you have been working on healing your mi body, mind, or soul, this Oracle comes with assurance that what you are doing is working and bringing you benefit. Even if you are yet to experience the full extent of that benefit, Continue with your work and know that you are indeed healing. All right, Cancer. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Uh, again, if you would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. I have a very happy birthday to my June Cancerians, and I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of July. Yeah? Take care. Bye.